Hi there, so today we're going to talk about line work and your medical illustrations and how you can implement transparency with only just line and there's a couple of tips and tricks that I wanted to show you. So say you're just working with this line illustration of the heart and the respiratory system. Now you'll probably do your line work here, but then you'll notice that the heart actually goes behind and lies behind the lungs here. So one trick to do here, and this is something that's worth studying in the old masters of medical illustrations to see how they approach it. And what they do here is the moment that the line crosses behind a surface or goes inside of a surface, they break up the line. So they kind of add in a little break here and then they can taper it off as well okay so they add in a break here and then they can taper it off and by doing it this you kind of show that it's going through uh, a thicker object and it's now transparent so that kind of gives the illusion of transparency in your line work and you don't have to play about so much with any line variations or not and it's a non just mon demonstrative thing because I'm just using masking to achieve this effect. Even more some medical illustrators also like to kind of like break up the line if they say like it's a really thick kind of uh, tissue or something like that and they really want to show that you know this is completely transparent then this is something they can also do and it's just kind of break up the line behind there but for internal purposes we don't tend to do that it's not a stylistic choice um, so we just tend to keep with just these guys so all we need to do is just break up the line at the edge of where it crosses the boundaries and things like that okay so it's the same here you can break up the line if you get stuff like this then just delete the small artifacts that just fall outside of it because that's not really needed so it's just small things like that and I'm just going to quickly go through and do that just so you can see the before and after and then I can just kind of fade it off there okay so if you look at this side you can see now that this shape already kind of looks a little bit more three-dimensional in comparison to this side here where there is no line break and everything just kind of flows together you know so if I turn it off and on you can see the difference there so that is one trick to break the line so I'm just gonna go over it again so your line will go all the way up to the edge and the moment it crosses that boundary it, it breaks and then you can taper it off all right so that it's nice and a soft taper and everything. It's not great to see uh, immediate cuts. Um, usually tapering helps a lot with this kind of illusion. So you just kind of fade off the tapering there. All right. So um, let's try it on this side then. So things like this, if you get things like this, then it's just best just to mask it all off up until a point where you can kind of see that there is enough of a gap. Otherwise, if you leave this in, and you zoom out it just becomes a darker line here um, and it kind of merges in as one line so we're just going to pull it back all the way until we get to a point there and it's the same here we're going to do that with these guys so here you'll see that there is the lobes there's a fissures that um, separate the lobes of the lungs here so in cases like this use these as other tapering points so anything that lies behind there and crosses it you just add in a line to mask it both out and there we go so then you can go in and do the same um, for the bronchioles and the bronchioli so here I can kind of um, just kind of taper everything off anything that crosses the boundaries of the lobes let me see which one's which so anything that crosses the boundaries of the lobes can be kind of tapered off like that Okay, so this is a trick in traditional medical illustration to show something sitting within uh, a subject, especially if you're working with only line illustration. Okay, thanks so much. Bye.